And also, it seems that soft power or enhancing soft power for economic values <clears throat> has become one of the priorities yep. Yep. for your government. So why is that? And given that soft power includes fashion and design, mm -hmm. film, festivals, food, of course, and the list goes on. So if you could just name one thing, the thing that you recommend the most to our Chinese viewers with this opportunity, what would it be? It's, it's, it's different because most some, sometimes the Chinese like experience food. Right. Okay, we, have, we have all kinds of food, for example, you know, it, it depends on who like what. Mm -hmm. okay? I like sports. For example, Muay Thai, Thai kickboxing. Yes. Muay Thai. Mm -hmm. The words Thai in the soft power of this particular sport, Muay Thai, Thai kickboxing is worldwide accepted. Right. The, Euro the European loves it. They come here, spend seven to ten days training and spend more money here. Yes. And why is soft power particularly important to your government? Because, you know, if, if you look at how, how the country has been developing, okay? Mm -hmm. Most of the big cities like Chiang Mai is obviously very well known already. Yes. Tourists, cultural. Phuket is a world class destination. Sun, sea, and sand. Food, excellent hotel. Bangkok, of course, you all know about the good part of Bangkok. But there are many other provinces. Some of the provinces is not even known to the Chinese tourists. The only way to make it known, well known, is that why should they know about it? Mm -hmm. okay, there's cultural, there's, there's fashion, there's food, there's sports, there's local cultures that they need to know. So right. those, 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 those are the main reasons why I want to spread the wealth towards the upcountry provinces.